What's up guys, Nick with Atropos. Today we're hiking at Angel's Landing in Zion National Park. There's too much on my mind right now. It's ripping me apart deep down. But if we recently set out to hike Angel's Landing in Zion National Park. We applied for a permit via the day before lottery system and were lucky enough to snag one and made the seven hour drive from San Diego out to Utah. We spent the night at a hotel in Laverkin and in the morning stopped by the River Rock Roasting Company to grab some coffee before heading into the national park. In the winter, there's no shuttle, so you can drive your car directly to the trailhead which is located at the Grotto Shuttle Stop. It's a beautiful five mile drive down the Zion Canyon scenic route from the entrance of the park. We made a pit stop at the lodge to grab more coffee. So we made it to the Angels Landing Trailhead at the Grotto and the parking lot was full so we had to park in the overflow down at the Zion Lodge. It's like a half mile walk. Once we made it to the trailhead, we ran into a ranger checking permits. They advised us of the slippery conditions at the top as well as the thigh deep snow and we showed them our micro spikes before crossing the bridge and starting the hike. From here it's 2.5 miles to the summit. We were lucky to hit a perfect weather window with a break in the snow. This was Ashley's first time hiking Angel's Landing and my first time hiking it in the snow and this was truly a winter wonderland. We made our way up the canyon wall and put on our micro spikes right before we approached Refrigerator Canyon. After we passed the Refrigerator Canyon, we made our way up to Walter's Wiggles. This is a series of 21 switchbacks that are pretty steep, but it goes pretty quick. Once we made it past Walter's Wiggles and the trail leveled off, the snow definitely started to come down a lot heavier. Soon enough, we were two miles in at Scout Overlook, and this is a section where the chains begin. I'm not gonna lie, the very first time I ever did Angel's Landing in perfect weather conditions, I was petrified. This final half mile across Hogsback is the section where numerous people have fallen to their death. Given the conditions, in this final section, we only ran into five other people. In better weather, this section with the chains can be very bottlenecked. I didn't do much filming during the chain section as we were trying to focus on keeping four points of contact at all times. We got lucky and the sun started to peek out as we got to the summit and we enjoyed some incredible views of the snow covered canyon below. This was truly a bucket list hike. Always have fun, be safe, and make sure to leave no trace. How was it? Yes, <laughs> <laughs>